In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this really quick reactive lighting and dynamic shadows in After Effects with just a couple of effects. I've been playing a lot with shadows recently and thought I'd share this really quick effect. In this comp, we've just got three layers. We've got our background, we've got these gray squares on our shape layer, and then we've got our light source, which is a circle that I've applied some glows to. So first, let's animate the position of our light. With the layer selected, let's press P on our keyboard, keyframe its position at the start. Let's move this all the way over to the left, maybe slightly off screen. And then at three seconds, let's move this all the way to the right. So now our light is traveling between the squares. For our reactive shadows, we only need to apply three effects to our square layer or the layer that you want to cast shadows. So first let's add the effect fill and let's change this color to a really dark red, almost black. And this is gonna be the color of our shadows. And then we're gonna add the effect CC Radial Fast Blur. Now right now, the center of this effect is right in the middle. So it's blurring our squares in a direction away from this point. And we can move that center point around by clicking and dragging it. Let's increase the amount to 90 to be more obvious there. And let's change the zoom from standard to brightest. It's now only blurring back the dark edges. And then we're gonna add the effect CC Composite, which just adds our squares back on top of all of these blurred effects. And the very last thing we need to do is have the shadows react to our light. So we want this center circle to follow the path of our light. And we can do that by parenting it. So let's toggle down our squares property, go to effects, CC radial blur and center here. And with our center selected, we wanna drag this pick whip over to our light's position. Not the layer itself, but specifically its position property. And when we release, it is now linked to wherever this light is. So if we scrub through our animation, we can see the center is always on top of that light. And that gives us this effect. So we can take this light and move its position anywhere we want and the shadows will react dynamically. We can go back to our square layer and reduce the amount of blur if we want smaller shadows or increase it if we want really strong ones. Now, if you want to apply these dynamic shadows to another layer, that's really easy. Let's just select our rectangle tool and draw another quick square as an example. And that's on this new shape layer. Let's go over to our original square layer and select all of these effects. And instead of just copying with control C, we want to go up to edit, copy with property links. Select that and then on our new shape layer, simply paste them. And now all those are effects are applied, but they also have expressions applied to them. So if we go into our original square layer and change the blur amount, it affects our new square layer as well. Same with any of the properties that we have linked. And that's it, we've dynamically lit a scene with just three effects. Please grab this project file and many of my others for free down in the description if you'd like to poke around a bit further. I bet there's tons of things you can create with this effect. So tag me on Instagram so I can see all the awesome stuff that you make. To discover the best ways to learn motion design, I've created a short playlist of videos that I'll think you'll enjoy if you've made it this far. Please like the video and consider subscribing if you'd like more of these videos every week. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.